everyone, it's Bonnie DeLovely here, also known as Miss Pinup RVA, currently from last fall. And in preparation for this upcoming tattoo convention, I wanted to share with you all something that I've gotten a lot of questions about and how to do vintage pinup hair. And what I like to do if I want it to last me all week and I can roll them up back in rollers, sleep on it throughout the week, but this set will last you. It's a wet set and I like to do what they call a pillow set or you could just put rollers in your hair and put a bandana or bonnet over you and get through the day while this sets in place. But I really like these better than thermal sets because it will just give you more hold for the week. So here we go. Uh, some tools you'll need for this. You'll need um, any kind of brush, paddle brush. You could use a wet brush if you wanted. It doesn't really matter. Just something to like get the tangles out of your hair. A rat tail comb, which is very essential to doing all types of hairstyles that I like to do. You will need some duckbill clips. I only like keep around me when I'm doing the set, like two to three, depending. Just a little long. You can get them anywhere. You can get them at Sally's if you're a hair professional like me. You can anywhere. Cosmo bra. Uh, I just like to use one of the, I can't even remember what these are called right now, but little plastic clips for sectioning. And then, pro oh, and some rollers. It doesn't really matter what size, any size will do. I just like, I used to do, I use these colors really, but it really doesn't matter. The smaller, the better though. And then, a leave-in conditioner. This right here is by Beauty and Penups. I get this at Cosmo Prof. I really like it, but anything will do. At my job at Bombshell Salon, we have 7 Seconds leave-in conditioner, which is wonderful. It's a heat protectant and all sorts of good things, but any leave-in. Uh, some water is always handy to do for these wet, wet-to-dry sets. And then this is the most important product you're ever going to need, a good setting spray. This here is Suavecita. We sell it at my job at Bombshell Salon. You can go to our locations here in Richmond. It's everywhere in California. It's a huge, huge, huge product and very essential for setting hair. And I guess that's it. All right, so we'll get started. So my hair, I just took a shower not too long ago, so it's pretty damp near the ends, which is good. We don't want it too wet because then it'll take forever to dry. You just kind of want it damp. And I haven't put my leave-in in yet, so what I do, and this is for just any hair care in general, you should put leave-in conditioner only at the ends of your hair, just like regular conditioner, and just kind of go around the perimeter. Don't focus at all on the root because then it gets oily and crazy and just, it's better. It's meant for the ends. So just a nice leave-in. And for this, you don't really need, some leave-ins have heat protectant in, which is great, but for what we're about to do, we're not using any heat at all. So it really doesn't matter. So I like to brush that in. all tangles out all right and now we don't I don't like to I like to spray as I go I don't like to spray and then section and roll you could do that I just don't like to so this is just how I like to section it there's a million ways to do this I like to go from the bottom and work my way up just being a hairdresser and everything it's just the way I see the easiest way, but you could start from the top, you can start from the middle, get my nice big clip, clip it up, and now we have this section here. So I just sectioned from ear to ear, kind of went back like you were doing a half ponytail, got the top up and out of the way. Now I have the second part here, and from here I'm going to section it in half 
So now I have two parts here. Now I'm going to clip that top part out of the way with my duckbill clip. And please know my hair from Fantasy Color and having another color melt into the Fantasy Color that where that bleach is, my hair is starting to break. <laughs> so please excuse my tiny, uh, look at them, they're tiny little baby hairs. I'm sorry, it is what it is. Here I'm gonna get my water. And you want something that kind of just missed. You don't want anything that's gonna shoot out water. And just missed a little bit. Some girls like to have water beside them, put their fingers in it, and then go. Whatever works. Now I'm getting my setting spray, my grooming sprays. Putting a little bit of that. And now from here, I'm going to split again in half to make a little little section right here and try not to get a, an area of hair that is larger than the size of your roller and now we're just going and rolling up all the way against the scalp is what I like to do you could do it where you leave just curl the end and leave it out I just think this is easier for me to get it all the way up at the scalp. But again, whatever you want to do, there are a million ways to do vintage hair. This is just what works for me. If, however, you're ever having me style your hair and I ask you to set your hair in rollers beforehand, please do what I'm doing. Please don't have it hanging down. Only very few sets can work out that way. And now from here, we just do all the same steps. Spraying water, spraying setting spray, combing it through. Here I like to do three sections. But honestly, as long as you get those rollers in there, your hair will curl fine. And then the trick when you're brushing out a wet set, because a lot of girls are wondering, oh, I hope that I can do something that'll make it frizz free. When you're doing a wet set, there's going to be frizz. That's just how it is, especially where I live. We, I live in Richmond, Virginia. It's very humid in the summers and even the fall, which we're in currently. So it just... Humid, it, frizz is going to happen, that, that is what it is, but they make products, which I will show you all later, like Suave Cita Pomade, which is very famous for getting those flyaways and baby hairs. They also make setting wax, which is what I have currently, that I got from a class with Miss Rockabilly Ruby, one of my big heroes. Now we get another section again, rolling. And as I'm rolling, I'm just going to keep talking because I am very new to YouTube and how to do any of this. <laughs> and I don't feel like editing my videos because I'm way too busy for that. I do not have time to edit my videos, put music in them, do a voiceover, anything like that. And I mean, I would love to someday, but I work a full-time job. <laughs> I do burlesque. I'm getting ready right now currently for the tattoo convention. I have friends, family, people that want to see me. Like, it's just, it's a lot. And if you don't get all the little hairs in, don't sweat it. You can always just spray. Because if you have layers or breakage, as I do, we'll also get baby rollers out in a little bit and you can always roll any extra you see. So now as we get to the top section, I normally part my hair on the side. I have a very deep side part, sort of. You should always part your hair above the arch of your eyebrow is where a part should go, unless of course you're doing a center part. But I part my hair on this side. Do I wanna start on this side? Hmm. Yes. All right, so we're gonna do this section first. I just part away all the way to the back. 
section that out. And I try to make it not so sharp, but I try to get a little from the middle here just because when it's out, I don't want to have a big hole right at the crown there. I kind of want it to be all flowing evenly. And then from here, this is what I like to do. Just, I do three sections. I part a section here roll it, clip it out of the way with a duckbill clip on the other side just so I get it out of my way but it's already in its little section for when I go to roll it. And then my second one, clip that out of the way and now here I am left with my third one. Get my water, spray spray, setting spray and this stuff is amazing it smells like strawberries all of their products do except for their suavecito the male product but all of it i think it started yeah suavecito started just as the pomade for women for vintage hair made in the west where pinup is huge fun fact bombshell salon where i currently work and adore we are the only salon on the East Coast that carries Suavecita. So, with that said, everyone should go get it. And the prices are so affordable. It's like, this goes from 9 to like 12 to maybe at the most like $16. I gotta look at it. But we have the pomade, the setting spray, the hairspray, the Suavecita, the man's pomade. Just so many, so many products. And they're amazing. So I recommend them. The setting spray, which I'm currently using, I would not use. I have seen it on YouTube being used as a spray with a hot iron, with a hot curling iron. Um, they spray it on before and then they curl right after. I asked a girl online, um, Miss Retro Jojo, who is also a phenomenal hairstylist, vintage persona. She's gorgeous. Very gorgeous. Met her in Vegas. Anyway, I asked her online, um, since I knew she works for Suavecito, um, if you can use the setting spray with a curling iron. And she said, yes, you can do that, but she recommends using a heat protectant with it as well and before spraying it just because it doesn't have one in it and a lot of curling sprays a lot of sprays that women use if they are doing a hot set with curling irons they use something with a heat protectant because and setting in it because that's you know a product for one but suavecita is not the green spray is not made like that there's no heat protectant in it but if you're like me and you use a it use a leave-in conditioner that already has that in it, the leave-in conditioner, you don't really have to worry about it. Like, you've already got your heat protectant in a product. And the pattern I'm using with rollers, this is just something I like to do where you'd get my smaller green rollers is going to be all surrounding my face, have them smaller, closer to the face. The others, they're just orange and pink. They're not really that much in difference in size, um, but I just alternate with them. Not that I really think it does anything, but yeah. it's just what I do. And I do this every night. <laughs> Well, not, not the setting and whatnot. Once you have your curl set, you can, once you have the curl set, sorry, you can just keep rolling them. Just roll it back up, but no products or anything like that. Just roll, wrap your hair around the rollers in the exact same place they were. And then sleep on it and you're good. You just, you need to sleep on something. You don't always have to. And I don't. Which is bad. I should. I, I become a lazy pinup a lot. Because 
I just am exhausted. Um, if you're doing an update, you don't really have to sleep on them. Anyway, point is, you should sleep on them. It will give you the best results that way. And if you have finer hair like me, curl is not gonna, it does not want to stay in your hair because your hair is just so small. It doesn't want to stay that way. It wants to be straight. So, anyway. Some tips for any of my girls that are going to compete in the Miss RVA contest. Oh, actually, let me, before I get into that, part my hair. Now we're doing the same thing. This just it makes it easier for me. Use that above the eyebrow part. Split it. Here I'm not really too concerned as we were before in the back to get it. And yes, I have bangs that used to be front bangs now they're side bangs and I'm just waiting for them to grow as always and even though I know I'm gonna probably cut them eventually just because I've had side bangs since I was in eighth grade <sighs> clip it up honestly the ideal and I tell girls this all the time I don't can't tell where this hair's coming from. We'll figure that out later. Sorry. Normally I have a mirror right in front of my face and I'm using my camera right now. So I'm just kind of like, is all of this hair in? Oh no, it's not. We'll fix it. It really doesn't matter. But easiest hair to do vintage styles is hair that is not layered and that's for all vintage styles but you can still there are still hairstyles you can do with layers i know all about it i've had layers um and also right now i have not natural or chemical layers from where my hair is just breaking off because it does not want to be fantasy anymore now nothing against fantasy color i've had fantasy hair for like almost five years but once you've had bright red and blues and purples in your hair for five years, you, your hair gets sick of it and decides, especially with fine hair like mine, it just, it, there's only so much bleach it can take. So I'm going to have a hair surprise coming up soon and it's a secret. I'm getting my lovely coworker, Carissa from Bombshell. Her Instagram is, oh god, now she's going to be mad because I'm not going to remember. Blonde Barbie, I want to say. Used to be Brunette Barbie, now Blonde Barbie. Pretty sure. I don't know. <laughs> I'll put the link up later. Because that's what you do on YouTube. Here we are rolling. Okay, so tattoo convention tips. Last year... Going into the tattoo convention, I became obsessed, even though it was the first competition that Richmond, Virginia had done. Um, in the first competition, Deanna Danger, the wonderful, wonderful woman and host that she is, it was her first time hosting one. And so, basically, what I'm getting at is, it was very put together. Like, it, it was the first one. So there's things you learn more as you keep going in time. Um, having said that, I mean, my what I the tips I have still apply, I think. Um, I looked up and watched YouTube constantly on how to... What to do in a pinup contest. What are some tips to winning. I didn't necessarily... I didn't want to win, specifically. I mean, the fact that I did is just kind of crazy. Like, it's awesome. I'm very happy I did, but that was not my intention. I did not go into it being like, yeah, I've got this. I'm going to win. No, never. I was just kind of like, this will be fun. Like, it'd be really cool if I got, like, Miss Congeniality or something. Um, having said that, tip to anyone doing this. Don't be a mean girl. Mean girls, they're everywhere. Let's not lie. They're literally everywhere. And as they're teenage girls that never grow out of that phase of their life. And that's just who they are. And you would think being adults 
we would all get out of this phase, but no, they are still there. They're everywhere. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Having said that, do not be a mean girl for this competition. It is not tolerated by anyone. It's not tolerated by Deanna Danger. It is not tolerated by Melissa Black, who's my boss at Bombshell, and it is not tolerated by me. And I'm sure all the other judges will agree. Just honestly, positivity is really what makes or break make makes or breaks someone. And if you cannot be positive, then I just you're going to lose a lot of respect from people. Even in the worst situations, even if people are mean to you, trust me, I've had girls be mean to me all the time. But just because they do that doesn't mean you can retaliate on them. Like, be the bigger person, set an example for them, and in your head feel bad for them for still being teenage girls stuck in high school. Having said that, if anyone posts anything online mean about other girls, I mean, that will be seen. Like, we're not, and don't think just because you delete it a year later or a couple of weeks later that it wasn't seen. There have been cases of girls being mean and it, people have seen it and the people you don't realize or want to see it, they go to delete it, but they still don't get things because of that. So just, just be positive. That's all I'm saying. My moral of this story. Somehow I'm caught in my hair right now. I don't even know how. There we go. So the pinup contest and tips, tips I have for the Richmond Tattoo Convention. You should, if I were you and you have tattoos, this is a tattoo festival. This isn't a car show. This isn't a classic pinup contest. This is a tattoo convention, which is awesome. And more tattoo conventions are doing pinup contests because of the history with it. Sailor Jerry tattoos. Anyway. So, if you have tattoos, I would show them. Um, I would not be skimpy. Like, I would not be over-sexual with your outfit choices. Just because I don't think being... S There's a fine line between sexy and... Yeah. So, be smart, please. Um, wear things that are appropriate. And in the email, I believe, there is also something said about it with dress code basically like what is appropriate and what is not appropriate and things like that but i would be on the sexy side of pen up but show your tattoos because it's a tattoo convention and like there's a casual section for this and a lot of girls wear long pants and i get it if that's what you're comfortable in by all means wear whatever you want i I'm not here to dictate that, but I would wear shorts, personally. That's just something I would do. Not saying that whoever wears long pants is go not going to win, um, but that's just m what I think. Uh, and also, I'm not judging, so just know that all of, take all of this with a grain of salt. At the end of the day, do whatever you want and whatever makes you... The point of pinup is being comfortable in what you're wearing and accepting all body types and everyone and not being judgmental. So if you feel comfortable in wearing long waist high jeans, by all means, go for it. That's what you want. Uh, another tip. This is just me personally. I don't really know, but this is something I did hear on my thing last year on my searching. She said, and this was a girl who'd won some contest out in the West and that she competes in contests all the time. Basically don't, oh, I'm in the middle section now. Starting back, they're all going to go back except my bang, which I like to go forward. Um, this girl, and I'm taking a larger section here just because by the end of it, I'm always sick of this anyway. And my hair is going to set all day today at work and all night. So, I just like to get it over with and put the biggest roller I can up here at the crown. <laughs> because it will dry in plenty of time. So, uh, 
pinup contest. Uh, in regards to your hair, there are a million hairstyles you can do as a pinup. I would recommend doing something other than traditional victory rolls just because you know a million girls are going to be coming in with victory rolls and just the whole all of it up in rolls. I would stay away from. You could do something with like your bang in a victory roll, the sides in rolls, something different, not just the standard you have two here's the side part, and bam, there are your rolls. I would do something other than that. Also, keep in mind, and I'm sure, like, they would let someone do this if they, like, won and thought they were the best, but I would stay away from two big rolls right here because think about it. If you have a crown, where's that crown gonna sit? I'm just saying. I mean, I haven't seen it done. I Well, I think some girls online have. Which is great for them. It's just, I don't know. I would stay away from the big rolls. Do like fun rolls in other ways. And there's a million hairstyles you can do. And as long as you set it, as we're doing now, anything's achievable. If you just want to take your rollers out and brush them out and like get them in a nice like setting, set them with hairspray, you do it. Like do whatever you want. If you want long flowy hair, if you don't want like a big helmet, there's a million hairstyles in pinups. Look at Marilyn Monroe. She wasn't always helmet head, big, tight curls all the time. In the 60s, she started to do looser. And look at Betty Page. She just had nice waves. Not even like just flowing little waves and had her bangs. You know, there's a million different things to do. If you want to put a bandana on your head and just that's pin up to you, go for it. No one's going to say anything. They are looking for authenticity, the judges, but that's if you're wanting to win. Um, and I mean, not everyone's doing this to win. Like I said, I wasn't doing it to win. I was just doing it to have fun and meet new friends because I don't have any pinup friends. Well, I didn't at the time. Now I have quite a few, which is, I love, I love having friends. With, I love being friends with people I have things in common with. I love my bombshell family so much. Um, I work at the bombshell in Southside, Virginia. Well, that's not what it's called. Anyway, Chesterfield. Um, and I adore everyone there. Everyone for the most part. Oh, and as you see, I'm doing my bangs forward. There. <sighs> I also love my burlesque girls. I, I had to say them because they need to know. So here we are with the finished product. And as you see, I still have some little flyaways just because I have little baby hairs, but it's not terrible. You don't have to. If you have any loose pieces, what I like to do, like any, sometimes I get like, like this right here. I get this little, little tiny roller and I roll that sucker on over and just clip it in if that even did anything I don't know if that did oh it did a little bit but I mean sometimes I get carried away and I pull all these over here and these are all facing forward which is fine because of the way I part if that goes back I think it leaves room for the bang here in the front which is going forward and now what I do I just get the setting spray spray all of it around and some girls too they'll just roll their hair and then set it with this you could do that if you wanted dry hair and you just wanted set like a loose set this with the water in it and everything like that it's going to be more of a firm set um but we just spray around i am just going to wrap it up as you see here i might actually take this front roller out and make it a roll in a little bit but I don't recommend this for sleeping in. I mean, you could if you have like nothing else, you can use a bandana, preferably for sleeping in a scarf. They recommend it always being like a nylon. Um, but like I said, since I'm going to work right now, I'll use my nylon here tonight because that's just better for your hair to set in. Um, 
But here's your bandana. Just open it out, have the point this way. With nylons, it's so much easier because they're longer, but with a bandana, you kind of have to, you can't fold it directly in half. You kind of just have to give it that little give right there. And then flip it so you can't see it. Pull it over your head. And get it so it covers all of the rollers in the back here. And then we might have to even do this again if it wasn't long enough. Oh, perfect. And I might bobby pin these down in a little bit. Or maybe not. Whatever. Just get that little point there. Yeah, I'm going to have to bobby pin it so it stays. Box, Glam Girl of bobby pins. One dollar Dollar Tree. You're welcome. I keep all of my clips at work in those, and it's just being super cute, super adorable all the time. Get your bobby pin. Pin it here so you don't have any of the rollers showing. So we'll keep this front flap nice and down. I'm using these lighter ones because these won't be that visible. Two, two. Now we bring it up and we tie in a knot. Make sure that little flap is out so it tucks it all in. Get your ears all however you want. You can leave it like this. You can tuck them in. I might do that because that might look better. Do you like a Rosie the Riveter kind of look? And always do your knot. If you feel it, I hate when girls, they do their bandanas and it goes like that. Like things are like that. If you see that happening, take it out and do your second knot the opposite way of however you're about to roll. And then here we are. I like to have them a little over my ears. And then I'll probably put some like pearl or dangly earrings in. And then like I said, here, I'll do this now since we're here. Since I am going to work, I don't want to have a roller in my hair. See, it's already starting to do that curl. But since I'm setting it overnight anyway, and I'm not going to, I'm just going to do my cheating fast. I don't have time to do a big roll with my bangs. Just roll those ends in. Do, do it again. Roll these because I've got a little long piece in these bangs. Oh, well. Roll it. Ah. Doesn't always work the first time. You kind of have to keep on going with it. And remember, right now at Bombshell, I'm doing blowouts. So you should all come on in to Bombshell in Southside with me, Kristen, or Bonnie the Lovely, your Miss Pinup RVA. Just say Miss Pinup RVA. I'm not really sure if they would know who Bonnie. Well, they might. I don't know. Try it. Let me know. Here we have a little roll, and I'm going to hairspray that just so it's not crazy looking. And now I am off to work. So be sure to, if you find this video helpful, you could subscribe if you wanted. Or just please send me comments, message me on Facebook, Bonnie the Lovely. Um, message me on Instagram, also Bonnie the Lovely, or Chris Does Beauty, please. And, or just leave a comment here if you found this helpful at all, or if you have any questions at all, please, please comment or contact me. I would love that. So, I hope everyone has a great day.